Okay, I finished generating my high quality texture. Make sure to save the file now. And we can get a little bit of a basis of an idea of how big the map will be already by launching the game. And kind of running around from one end of a beach to another. Alright. So now what we need to do is start to add, to edit the terrain in our map. So what we're going to do is go up to the terrain, modify, flatten, and I'm actually going to pick a height. We're going to drop the ocean off here. So let's pick a height around 40. Fairly low hardness. Very large outside radius. I'll start dropping the ocean off. Again, I'm actually going to turn off the ocean here. Just get all the edges. Go with a larger uh, larger paintbrush for this area. If you want to have a kind of a rolling ocean floor, you can turn on the noise here, set it for something like five. All right, I'm going to go smaller brush for these edges. Don't worry about getting stuff overlapped. You can clean it up later. Undo that one. These little edges, I need to do a much higher hardness so that it drops off very steep. Otherwise, don't want any kind of any square edges in a in a reef. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead here until I get a little bit more of this cleaned up. Okay, I have all my deep ocean areas dropped off here. Next we're going to drop off some of the edges. So set the hardness very low. Really low. Actually, and then set your height somewhere around 80. So that from viewed above it just feathers these edges of the reefs. Don't worry about again about overlapping it. You're going to need to go from coarse to more detailed as you move in. The hardness set low, the brush reacts to how quick of a click you do with the mouse. I prefer to use the flatten tool rather than the raise and lower, because raise and lower has really no stopping point. I can actually set my hardness even lower, my radius even larger. So I'm really just trying to get rolling edges on these.
Again, don't worry about these rocks and outcroppings, and even if you get up to the beach, we'll edit all this as we get into the beach. Okay, if we turn off our ocean, should have a little more gentle drop off. Okay, so now we're, what we're going to do is try to set the level for these reefs. So reefs are fairly shallow. So go something like 95. I need to turn my noise down to 1. And if you want, you can go ahead and in game and test it in game. Actually, there's a little texture, uh, fun little texture thing I got to fix in just a second here. So let me drop the reefs before I show before I load that. Now, if you want to get real detailed. The dark areas are actually the edges of reefs, and the blue areas are actually sand, in reality. As you could get really detailed as far as if you want to uh, go scuba diving in your map. Okay, that should be good. Now I got these sandbars. They're actually extremely shallow water. So I'm going to go somewhere around 98. Sea level's at 100. And drop these areas down under the water. Now the white areas from the Google Earth image are actually waves hitting the edge of the sandbar. And I actually use those instead to make kind of exposed sandbars out in those areas makes a nice detail nice obstacle for boats again using the brush like a paintbrush in photoshop just clicking a little bit at a time Drop all the edges of these beaches. Again, don't worry about submerging rocks and such underwater. We'll get them later. Alright, so now we have our sandbars. Oh, again, we got that texture thing. I'm going to cover textures in a whole nother tutorial, so I'm trying to avoid it right now. And so let's set our beaches. I'm going to set them at 100.5, so they're really rolling, just gentle beaches. Set my brush fairly small. Again, my hardness extremely low. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to avoid that texture issue, so. Because I need to get down there and look. So, how do you fix that texture as far as you get that giant shadow? It's because you have no default textures. I'm actually going to delete the default texture. And I'm going to imp. Actually, sorry. Didn't want to delete the default texture. Oh well, I'll make a new one. Doesn't matter. What I need. What I'm going to do is import the surface types. Where are they at here? Here we go. These are the the uh, service types of my other map, and they're actually just imported from the demo map. Once those are imported, you'll have a default texture, and you can zoom all the way down in. All right, so let's get back to fixing the beaches. And actually, my beaches are dropping because I have noise turned on. Noise always seems to go in the negative direction. So if you want noise, usually you got to change your height just a little bit. Just 
don't be too detailed at this point. You're trying to get a general shape of the island. You go back later and fix things, make it more detailed as you go. So now it's time to bring up these rocks here so they're outcrops. All right, I'm gonna try skipping ahead here. Okay, we have our beaches done. And you get as detailed as you want. Swim out to the edge here. And that's it for beaches. Next we're going to do mountains.